people nurse Lala here and today we're actually gonna have a little med surge chat and all things med surge right so today's med surge chat is regarding care of a patient with a tracheostomy I know you're thinking couldn't she pick a different topic? Of course, there's so much to choose from, but I'm one of those that just happen to like traits, okay? And I don't like like traits, but I have a great big tolerance to care for them, okay? And every nurse has their own thing that they just cannot absolutely deal with and mine is adult emesis i can't do it i cannot physically sit there and watch someone go at it okay because that makes me want to go at it and so that wouldn't be the best um situation there okay <laughs> so anyways we're talking about tricks today and so I want to bring up two very important things, all right? And so in nursing school, of course, we're always taught to, one, have your obturator and your ambu bag at the bedside ready to go, okay? You already know you have to have trach supplies available, suction catheter kits, um, because the patient requires trach care at least once a shift okay and that could vary from facility to facility um i think our policy is actually every eight hours but i think if the patient has trait care at least once a shift then that helps the patient heal um, it prevents infection by keeping it clean and it also prevents patients from developing what's called mucus plugs that's when the sputum is so thick it's no longer able to come up through the inner cannula and so that happens when these patients have ineffective coughing patterns and they're just not able to expectorate, all right? And so when no one's suctioning the patient, then the secretions just kind of sit there and eventually they clog off the inner cannula in the patients in respiratory distress, okay? So we have to have to have to do our trait care, okay? But one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about is the fact that um, trait care in the first 24 hours where I practice is actually not done. And the ENT's preference is to allow the incision time to clot off because in the first 24 hours, the patient is most at risk of bleeding and we don't want that to happen. And so that's one of the things that I wanted to share with you all today because I'm not sure that, you know, we, we learned that in nursing school. Now, and that could vary also from facility to facility, but the risk of bleeding in the first 24 hours, um, of course, um, can be very high all right now the other thing that I wanted to chat about that shouldn't vary from facility to facility this is something that should be standard protocol for all of our trach patients or any patient who has communication problems Everyone always, you know, I wouldn't say everyone always because I tend to have to, you know, you know, send for another trait kit sometimes or go grab an ambu bag or 
obturator to make sure it's at the bedside because it's usually one or the other not there but i know we've been taught to keep those things there but what about the whole aspect of a patient with a trach who's completely oriented but unable to speak what happens when that patient calls on the call light well that's a very good question and that's what i want to talk about so when patients have a trach it has to be standard protocol to label the call light system leave a note tape it to the call light system whatever you have to do but there has to be a message to communicate that the patient is unable to speak very very important because you don't want a patient to be in respiratory distress or you wouldn't want your family member to have a need and no one comes to meet that need right right so our med search chat focus is to make sure we find out what our protocol is regarding trait care at our facilities make sure that we're actually practicing according to our protocol and then number three i want us to make sure that call light system is labeled patient unable to speak so that could go for a trach patient a stroke patient who's aphasic um, a patient who's um, deaf um, anyone with a communication barrier okay all right so that's all for now thanks for tuning in and i will talk to you soon see you next time